Filmic Vlog, episode 12. This is my fifth time trying to record this stupid thing. <laughs> oh man. Um, yeah. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope everyone uh, watching the vlog is doing well. Um, missing. Have you ever felt like something was missing in your life? Not a physical thing, um, but something inside. Uh, you can call it a passion, you can call it a dream, you can call it um, something that just speaks to you, you know? It's it's something that you can try to explain to someone, but words just can't do it justice. Uh, only you know what that thing is, and only you know what it means to you. And for me, the thing that's been missing... Um, a lot of stuff but I think the main thing has been um, it's been trying to find this balance between doing you know uh, good work and also doing um, projects documentaries and, and short films that like I, I just want to do you know um, finding Finding a story for a doc is not the easiest thing at least the one that you want to tell you know there's there's always a story out there to tell, which I think is great. It doesn't give anyone an excuse to not be able to, um, if you want to get into documentary filmmaking, it's not an excuse. Like, there's always a story you can tell. Um, it's just a matter of is, is that story a story that you wish to tell, you know? Um, I haven't spent a lot of time looking for topics uh, or people to 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 create a documentary that I want to tell um, on the narrative side I've written a short film um, I have a treatment for it I wrote a script for the first two acts and then um, I guess just life happened or <laughs> some some BS like that like obviously you know, I'm working you know there's clients that that, um, that hire me and reach out to me and then there's um, you know small like projects that friends ask me to help them on um, you know, I get hired every now and then, probably at least, you know, a couple of times a month to work as like a gaffer or a grip on, uh, on a short film or a music video, um, which I love. I love being on set. Um, I think a lot of that came my way. And then so I kind of just pushed all these other passion projects to the side, you know, um, like I probably should now that I have time um, given it's the end of the year. I should go back to that short film and finish off that third <laughs> script um, and then see who I can get to, to play the characters. Um, I started writing a treatment for my first feature film, which I'm pretty excited about that. You know, that's something that um, I don't plan on, you know, seeing the vision fully executed for a couple years. You know, it's um, it's a big, uh, it's a big, um, it's going to be a big beast. You know, like I need multiple, I need multiple locations. Um, you know, I need a ton of actors. I need... I'm probably gonna need some child actors too so you know that's that's a new thing for me but yeah the past few months I haven't done anything that like really has excited me in telling a story or creating a story that fulfills my um, my passions you know as 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 a creative and as a filmmaker it's creating someone else's vision um, which you know goes without saying that's like part of uh, one of my production companies, Legendary Media House, you know, we do uh, branded content, we do social media marketing, um, corporate stuff, events, you know, so that's part of the game is like you're helping other people create their vision and making their vision come to life um, to build a business, build a product, build a service. And that in itself is rewarding. Um, but I think you also have to like find balance. You have to do a ton of that work. And then every now and then you have to sprinkle in your own work, you know, maybe maybe your own personal short film that you wrote. Maybe no one sees it, but you're happy with it because you created it and you put it out there for people to watch. Um, and you had fun making the whole thing. You know, that's I think that's why any of us go into filmmaking is because we have fun making films. You know, it's one of those things where like, um, you know, it's one of those things where people ask you, what would you do for the rest of your life? if you um, didn't need to get paid for it? Like, what would that be? And for me, it's creating documentaries and creating films.
My earliest, there's there's two that just came to my mind. The earliest time I was singing, I was sitting in the car, and mom had this old Subaru, and I was listening to uh, a Blondie song, Heart of Glass, and I was just making up my own song with Blondie's Heart of Glass. It was probably three or four. Um, and then the other one was music would come on, and I would just, like, dance, but I only wanted to do it privately. So I would, like, go in the corner and dance by myself when I was three or four. So that was my first memories. But even though it feels like something has been missing in my life, I have to look back at everything that I've done and everything that I've accomplished in 2018. And I think professionally, it's been my best year. Um, business-wise and um, personal growth-wise. Um, yeah, I'm in a place where, Naville? I mean, it's a good place, you Naville? know? Like, not only do I have a Naville? roof over my head, I got food, I got gas, I got a working car, um, great relationships with my family, great relationships with my friends. You know, like, there really isn't anything to complain about at the end of the day. Um, you know, sure, I'm not doing what I want to be doing, but... I don't think that's going to happen for a couple of years. You know, it's just one of those things where you you have to hit the ground running. You got to build your business. You got to build your network. Um, you got to keep doing things that inspire you. You got to keep doing things that you're passionate about that you believe in. And then you do that long enough and over and over and over again. Um, you know, the dividends will pay out. I related to like uh, like sports, you know, you don't just pick up a basketball and then, you know, after a week you're like Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan, you know what I mean? Like it takes like years, it takes a long, long time, you know, 10, 15, 20 years sometimes to be the best of the best. And it's like, where and am I going? I believe I have to remind myself of that <laughs> is anything great requires work and patience. Um, nothing happens overnight. You're not given anything overnight. You just got to keep doing good work. And Bye, fly. <laughs> I would say, you know, minus like one or two things this year. Um, I've been pretty proud of <laughs> all the work uh, that I've been able to, um, uh, that I've been hired to do, you know, everything that I've been uh, been able to accomplish this year. And it's it's been good stuff. But, damn, you know, sometimes it's just, there's just that something missing in your life and, and you just, it's like this, um, it's like a creative itch, you know? I don't know if you get it, but I get it, you know, often. It's like if you're not creating something that you're extremely passionate about, like you just gotta, you don't care if you're doing it on spec or you call up like, you know, two or three friends and you just say, hey, can you help me out? I'll buy, I'll buy you guys a lunch and dinner or whatever, pay for your gas. Like, I just need to create this thing. Um, I don't know. I think it's like a like a artist's uh, curse or something like that. I don't know. Well, we got about two, uh, two more months left before the end of the year. Uh, it's October 22nd as of this recording. Uh, so Halloween's coming up, and then my favorite um, time of the year, Thanksgiving, uh, and then Christmas. You know, time to time to be with family, time to um, kind of uh, take category of everything that's happened over the year, and uh, plan for for the next year. You know, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Um, I just want to accomplish the rest of my goals that I set out for the end of 2018 you know, get the last one I have knocked off by the end of um, November, hopefully, maybe middle of December, right before Christmas. <laughs> and um, and they go into the new year, you know, with uh, with some good stuff. You know, leave 2018 in the past, be proud of everything that I've, uh, that I've worked for, that I've accomplished. And then uh, just make 2019 another great year, you know. Um, Truly really blessed to have everything happen this year, all the good stuff, all the great stuff, um, all the shitty stuff, all the terrible stuff. You know, um, it is what it is, man. You know that's life. Life goes on, with or without you. And I think you have to be in a place where you want to go with life, rather than go against life. Um, but yeah, 
I guess I'll leave it at that. Something. Hopefully that sounded pretty good to you. 